1.2 million subscribers canceled cable or satellite service in the United States in the third quarter of last year, with almost a million cord cutters in Q4. Are others likely to follow? We turn to our resident media guru and tech buff, Holland Cook, host of The Big Picture here on RT America. Holland, uh, thank you for being back with us. You're it's back. always so much fun when you're here. Uh, is cable going the way of the dinosaurs, my friend? Bart. Nobody loves their cable company except for internet access. As the term television is being redefined before our very eyes. In just the last couple of weeks, these over the top TV headlines Netflix, the world's biggest TV network, 58 million subscribers in the USA alone, announced a $2 price hike, $11 to $13 a month, and their stock immediately went up. And why they're doing this is expensive original programming. Amazon debuted Prime Video Channels, a member perk that lets members subscribe to more than a hundred TV networks for a monthly fee. Subscribers get access to the channel's backlog catalog, too, and can stream shows live on computers and other devices with the Prime Video app. Roku announced that its streaming device now has 27 million users. And the free Pluto TV app, where a lot of people watch us, has added modern sitcoms and Spanish language movie channels. And now Viacom has bought Upstart Pluto TV. Grab the armrest, $340 million. Viacom already serves over 100 billion hours of content each year on channels like BET, Comedy Central, MTV, and VH1, uh, Nickelodeon and TV Land, CMT, and the Paramount Network. So Viacom, which is relatively late to the streaming TV party, is catching up with cord cutters, and Pluto TV users are about to get even more channels. Uh, they just have to remember channel 132, That's right, us. Colin? Yeah. Uh, so, so where where does all of this uh, leave over-the-air TV broadcasters? Uh, unsurprisingly, legacy broadcasters are playing defense. They figure if you can't beat them, join them. NBC Universal will roll out a free ad-supported streaming service for its Comcast uh, cable service here and for Sky in Europe. And for a fee, there's an ad-free version and service to non-cable subscribers. And TV station mega owner Sinclair Broadcast Group has launched STIR, which is their free over-the-top TV entertainment bundle, offering local news and general entertainment, sports and lifestyle channels. No login, no password. You will recall the recent aborted Sinclair Tribune merger that would have made Sinclair, TV's biggest owner, even bigger. This new service expands Sinclair's viewer footprint to geographies where they don't have stations, and it amortizes their programming costs over another platform. It's another way to monetize what they're already doing. And, and Holland, before we leave this area, you're talking about Netflix, you're talking about expensive original content. Uh, the Academy Award nominees were announced on Tuesday this week, and the most nominations went to two movies, The Favorite, which I haven't seen, uh, and Roma. And Netflix is actually behind Roma. And this is the first time they've had a, a, a picture for uh, nominated for Best Picture. Uh, what do you make of it? Well, every year, you know, when the Oscars come out, uh, we watch the show and say, I haven't seen any of these movies. <laughs> the beauty of Netflix is when you're ready for it, it's there. And I think what we're seeing is an inflection point because uh, Roma was in theaters but it was not released to theaters. Netflix actually rented movie theaters for the purpose of showing it in the theatrical arena during the window that would qualify it for Oscar consideration. So which is the tail and which is the dog is changing before our very eyes. Uh, you see, that's why you're the media guru. You know all these things like that. Uh, interesting tidbit. Uh, another big media name in the news again this week is Gannett, the, the owner of USA Today, that we spoke about uh, last week, uh, that they were going to be bought by this hedge fund that people had dubbed the destroyer of newspapers. Uh, what's the latest on that? It looks like they may, Gannett, may be already uh, laying off some folks, as you and Margot Suska predicted on the program. What's going on there, Holland? Margot nailed it. 
what a prediction. Uh, Gannett is a former TV group owner. They uh, spun off their TV stations, which were uh, very profitable. They sold the biggest billboard company in North America, a license to print money, and they kept newspapers, including flagship USA Today. And this week, mass firings, a real bloodbath underway at Gannett newspapers across the country, uh, reporters with bylines that have been in print for years. And this comes as hedge fund-backed Digital First Media, which owns 7.5 percent of Gannett stock, is offering $1.36 billion to buy them out. It's a hostile takeover. And what has the media world cackling and Wall Street intrigued is that Gannett, which has always been notorious for buying media companies, then slashing costs, has probably met its match in digital first media, whose M.O. is to buy struggling newspapers and slash jobs. You might recall when they took over the Denver Post, the cuts were painful. There were protests. So these are tough times for print media, and they're getting tougher. According to Pew Research, social media has now surpassed print newspapers as where USA adults surveyed often get their news. For one in five, social media is effectively the new newspaper, while only 16 percent are regular hard copy newspaper readers. And while newspapers have amped up their online and mobile versions, they're swapping print advertising dollars for digital dimes because we expect to get what we want free on the internet. And meantime, television is scrambling to give us more stuff on more devices. Bottom line on all of this, the media is chasing us. They're struggling to keep up with U.S. consumers. I'm Larry King. Questioning, listening, learning. You know, I've always said I never learned anything when I was talking. It's important to listen. Question more.